I would love to know, like, what really turns you on in terms of, like, what is your favorite type of session to do? I mean, you do a lot of things. Wow. You do energy clearings. We talked about pet readings, angel readings, past life, family connections. Yes. What I, really... It's hard for me to just choose a favorite session because yeah. each one is so unique and so precious to me. Yeah. You know, and what I tell people is each session is very sacred. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I hold you in a holy space, a sacred place. Mm-hmm. So I can't really pick just just one. But um, I would say where people come in and they're having a lot of suffering and struggling, and I am able to provide information and insight due to the angels giving me words to speak, mm-hmm. or loved yes. ones on the other side who come through. You know, some people carry pain that is so deep and wounds that is so they're just so so deeply embedded when I do the healing work with energy I help to pull up that pain and we examine it and so it there's a lot of like psychology involved intuitive psychology Mm because I'm not a licensed anything in that regard but um, a lot of what I do is counsel Mm -hmm. and console and provide light Mm-hmm. To bring light to any shadowy areas, any areas of darkness and suffering. So, yeah. wow, that's amazing. I've had an opportunity to read um, just from some work we're doing together. All these these testimonials of people that have worked with you, mm-hmm. and they are so moving. I yes. mean, I'm very honored, like to see that it's not just in the session, but what happens after. Yes. Do you get that a lot where people will let you know, like, what happened after? Yes, because or... I, do, I do ask them to do that. Give me some feedback, mm-hmm. you know. And I also want to check if they still need, if they need any follow-up afterwards, that mm-hmm. I'm available. You know, I continue to keep people in my prayers. Prayer mm-hmm. is very important and sending energies mm-hmm. um, of love and light. So, um, yeah, and it's, uh, I love working with people and, and making sure that I have attended to everything that I was called to attend to because I feel very led by God in the universe mm-hmm. to serve in this capacity. So. so does it ever happen where a person comes in and they think they're there for one thing? Yes. <laughs> and then it's like a and totally, totally different thing. <laughs> yes, yes, it does happen that way. And, you know, it's, it's amazing because um, I'm very gentle with how I bring information forward. I always ask permission. Mm-hmm. I never, you know, unless the angels are like, you got to speak it again because they're not getting it. Yeah. They can be very firm, you know. And sometimes I argue <laughs> with them, like, I'm a human. If I were a human, I might not want to hear it this way. Right. You know, and they're like, do it. Mm hmm. So, wow. It's, it's a real, it's me connecting with spirit, with angels, loved ones on the other side, God, me holding myself. You know, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, all those levels, and doing the same for the person that I'm working with. So it's a lot of shifting and flowing. Right. And allowing. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I I think I kind of branched off there, got off tangent. No, I think that's good. And and do you, are you able to teach people how to continue that journey on their own? Like how to, Mm -hmm. you know, take what they've learned or... um, because you feel, I know just from having sessions with you, you feel so light and joyful and, you know, I'm, um, you know, when you're in the place of trying to become more spiritually enlightened, to vibrate at a higher energy level, yes. you feel that when you're with you, but yes. then you get sucked back into real life. Right. And it's very important to, for me, when I'm, when I'm recommending a spiritual consultant as a fine thing <laughs> to know I that they that. <laughs> that they are giving guidance that it's not just that once and done shot in the yes. arm. I love the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I I teach everyone you are energy, you are an energy system. And we are impacted, affected and infected by energies, right? Mm-hmm. All the time. So yes. remembering to contain your energy, to hold yourself with love and light, higher rate of vibration frequencies, instead of going into the fear-based energies, right. because nothing good comes of fear. And if you anchor in the fear, you root in fear, 
then it just spreads out to every area of your life. So I yes. just I serve to just keep reminding my people, love and light, love and light, love yes. and light.